Good morning, my name is Tammy Mitchell and Pastor Sandra asked me a few weeks ago to um, stand up here and talk to you a little bit about um, what First Presbyterian Church means to me and why we are members here. So my husband Sean and I joined the church about a year ago and so from some of the other testimonies that I've heard, I'm not a lifer from Topeka or even a lifer in the Presbyterian Church. But about six years ago, my husband and I moved to Topeka from Wakefield. And what was interesting about this move was it was the first time we had moved without our children. Our children are grown, they're in their mid-20s, living their own lives. And so when we moved to Topeka for our jobs, um, we didn't know anybody. We didn't know anybody that went to church. And because throughout our 30 years of marriage, we've been Presbyterian, we've been Methodist, we've been non-denominational, we've been liberal, we've been conservative. When you move to a new city and you don't know anyone, the choices for churches are like a buffet. It's just, what's your flavor, right? So we visited a ton of churches. We witnessed every possible worship style, every possible music style, every possible leadership style. And for four years, we attended a different church. Um, it was a rather large church. Um, we tried to go to the same service and sit in the same general area, thinking maybe we would meet the same people. We rarely saw the same people twice in this church. And so for four years, we tried to fit in and get connected, and it just didn't fit. So we went back to visiting churches, which is the worst. It's the worst to be a new person walking into a church. So um, I work downtown. Uh, my office is in the Landon building, just on the other side of the Capitol. And on my breaks or lunch times, I walk around the Capitol. And of course, I saw this lovely church over here um, every, nearly every day for four years while we were going to church somewhere else. And I thought, wow, it's such a pretty building. And oh, there are so many pretty windows. But you see, my husband and I travel quite a bit, and our hobby is to visit churches. And so we've been to churches all over the nation and even in foreign countries. And while those churches are always beautiful um, relics of our faith in Christ, sometimes those big, beautiful churches can seem pretty dead on the inside. Sometimes they can seem like nobody really goes to church there anymore. And that's kind of what I thought about this church until I visited, and I could not have been more wrong. This church is located in the epicenter of Kansas history, past, present, and future. You can't come to church here without looking across the street and seeing the Capitol and knowing that we have to be involved in all kinds of ways in order to make a difference for future generations and to make a difference for Jesus Christ. Um, driving the neighborhood around First Presbyterian Church, you can't help but, but notice the contradiction um, the poverty, the need, right here, right at your doorstep. And so, while some Christian congregations pull back and disengage, and they kind of become their own little exclusive Jesus clubs, this congregation is different. You here at First Presbyterian Church, from the heart of this little city, you lean into problems and challenges from politics, medicine, education, and the arts, to ministering to the poor, the lonely, and the marginalized of downtown Topeka and across our nation and around the world. You all in this congregation is alive and bursting with the opportunity to make an impact for Jesus. And that's where I want to hang out. That's what I hope to learn from you. I want to grow to be someone who leans in to help and doesn't shy away because the work can be messy and hard. I think you all can teach me more about how to do that, and that's why I'm here. I look forward to meeting all of you and getting to know you all better. Thank you.